Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. U.S. stocks trending downward to start the week after Shanghai's stock index sank more than 5%. Now, it comes after China reinforced its stringent pandemic policies as COVID case numbers rise there. China's capital, Beijing, has begun mass testing and shutting down residential areas amid a new outbreak of COVID-19. Urgent and grim, those are the words Chinese officials are using to describe the virus grip on parts of the country. This week, Chaoyang, one of the largest districts in Beijing, is set to launch three rounds of mass testing for about three and a half million people. Meanwhile, in still lockdown Shanghai, people who test positive are taken to government quarantine facilities, but there is word that lockdowns in that city could start to be lifted today. Now, I spoke with Joel Haggard. He works for the U.S. Meat Export Federation in Hong Kong. He tells me the recovery after lockdown could take weeks. The port is open and the Shanghai port uh, runs 24 seven. It's one of the world's largest. It probably is the world's largest by, by recent statistics, but it means exports aren't going out and imports aren't coming in. And on the export side, um, the Shanghai area and the Shanghai port is kind of a collection area for the exports of a lot of electronics that are produced in that uh, Eastern China region. On the import side, um, Shanghai is a big meat import port and meat imports, uh, what can get in at the moment, and there are ships being diverted, but what can get in at the moment is finding a real difficult time moving from the port inland to cold storages, because many of Shanghai's cold storages are shut down. Mm -hmm. so, it's, uh, so in terms of commerce, moving into the city, through the city, and out of the city into other areas, it's pretty messy right now. As for U.S. meat exports to China, he says the pork market has been weak because of the rebound in China's domestic herd for U.S. beef. Weekly sales are up about 30 percent through early April, with record beef exports to China last year of $1.5 billion.